I really did not want Israel on our team. Um, I don't want to be allies with Israel. Um, when I think about a lot of the United States problems, I think it's pretty much Israel that is the problem because you make everyone, they make everyone else hate us. And um, I think there's a reason that people hate us because Israel, it's because Israel does messed up stuff. When I talk about um, the Israeli government bringing in Ethiopians and being like, oh, these people are Jewish. <laughs> and they brought them in to like put them in areas that Saddam Hussein's rockets were landing. Um, and like when I talk about that and people go, how can the American people like think that it's a moral thing to support Israel? Um, like if that's the case, if they actually did, which they did do that. Like I'm just saying like everyone knows, everyone knows what it means to be Jewish. Your mother has to be Jewish. Like your mother, not like your, your ancestor who was a man was Jewish. So I think that a story like that is the type of story that will get you blacklisted. Like that's like, you, you want to talk about cancel culture. Israel should be canceled. Um, but that was a long time ago, but still they, they like really though. Like they like in my opinion, the United States government's relationship with Israel should have been canceled a long time ago, and instead we kept giving them money even after their spies stole classified information and sold them sold the classified information to Turkey. We stayed friends with Israel, and I mean I don't think that stealing classified information and selling it to Turkey is really that because it was that long ago. I don't I don't think it's that bad, but I do think what happened with. Um, Ethiopian Jewish people like where you bring in an entire like you bring in all these people that aren't Jewish and you're like these people are Jewish now so that you can like get them killed and then like you don't but you didn't foresee like you have to keep these people as a part of your country <laughs> and you guys are racist and you probably don't want them part of your bloodline I'm just saying all right so I changed my mind on Israel and the reason I changed my mind on Israel is because it's not everyone's fault that there are some crazy ass sons of bitches in charge of their country and that there or that there used to be a bunch of crazy ass sons of bitches in charge of their country. Isn't Neftali kind of crazy? My understanding is he's a lot like Benjamin Netanyahu. And I'm sitting here going, thank you for replacing Benjamin Netanyahu from a diplomatic perspective. Everyone hates that guy so passionately. We needed someone else. Great. Naftali is a lot like him, even though he seems like he's not, because he seems like he's from a Berkeley family, which Berkeley is, like, very freaking progressive. It's, like, so progressive that they might annoy the shit out, shit out of you by how liberal they are. And for me, for a liberal person, um, it's hard to annoy the shit out of me unless you're, like, that liberal. All right, so um, it's hard to put people on our team. But what you have to do at some point is disconnect what a government did at one time from their people. Because the people aren't responsible for, like, people, for, for a group of people doing something so awkward. I mean, dude, that, that, it, it's awkward. Like, that is so freaking awkward. That's one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever learned. Is that, like, our best friend would do something so awkwardly racist.